Okay. Welcome to part two of the board tutorial hosted by me, Vasher, uh, camera by Mangajin, and guest, whoever we can find at the time. Uh, today on um, Forge Tutorials, we will be demonstrating how to um, uh, make objects instantly respawn and setting spawn points correctly. So, before we begin, I guess I have to introduce our guest for today, Rebel. Re Rebel. Oh, Rebel. Hold on, hold on. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't, don't, don't touch me, dude. Why? Seriously, no, get, get worry, away from me. I, I no, use my, no. I use my dude, foot, my dude. foot part of it. Oh, God. Okay. Oh, that's nasty, dude. It's still wet. Oh, oh my god. That's not water. Oh, sterilization. Oh, god. Okay, so, like I said, for this tutorial, we're going to be um, showing you how to make objects instant respawn. For this example, we're going to use a fusion coil. Now, as you see, when you blow it up, it doesn't respawn until 30 seconds later. But using the instant respawn, we can easily make it reappear at will. And here's how you do it. Place the item, most likely an explosive such as a fusion coil, plasma battery, or other high explosive in the game, wherever you want it to instantly respawn. Then, select the item in the items menu by pressing X, Highlighting the word fusion coil, pressing X again, and selecting runtime minimum right under placed on map. Change that to 25 and hit A and B twice to exit the item menu. If you did it right, the fusion coil or whatever other object you use should respawn instantly after detonation. You can use this in many creative ways. I like to make them randomly fall out of the sky constantly. It makes for interesting gameplay and can be used in a lot of different ways. So I hope that helps. And um, on to the next, where we'll demonstrate to you how to abuse different tricks to abuse this ability of making objects instantly respawn. We're going to... Um, show you how to make fusion coils fall from the sky and instantly respawn, falling again and again and again. It's very funny. It can make your maps look just that much better. So start by taking a crate such as this and having a friend hold it up. So as you can see, if you look at him real quick, he's got fires red. Bring a gin look at him. Okay. Fire's red. Yeah, he's going to be the guest because um, Rebel Guitarist had to leave all of a sudden. So we found him at the last second. And just so with that, I'll continue with the tutorial. Anyway, uh, get a friend to hold the crate right in front of you and then just get a receiver node and make the box float. Hold her steady there. All right, try to balance it out when the teleporter set. So it balance. Okay, move it. And then take the crate and just set it on top. Doesn't matter what angle. Like that. And we have a little problem because the barrier's there, but we're going to try and adapt. Get the item you want to fall, in this case, a fusion coil. and just set fusion coils up wherever the exact area is that you want to fall. The box will twitch, but that's okay. Let it twitch. Just be careful and very precise how you set your fusion coils. And then once the fusion coils are set, press X to open the items... Press X to open the item spawn menu and highlight fusion coil. Press X when the word fusion coil is highlighted to bring up the item list. You should see in this order, placed on map, runtime minimum, runtime maximum, maximum allowed, and total cost. 
the runtime minimum should neutrally be at zero. But when we want to make items instantly respawn, set the runtime minimum to be exactly the same as the runtime maximum. In this case, the runtime maximum is 13, so we'll set the runtime minimum to 13. Leave the items menu, and then delete the crate holding the fusion coils and the teleporter that was holding up the crate, and you're left with two lone fusion coils. Pump them to make them fall, and when they hit the ground, they'll respawn. This is how you make fusion coils fall from the sky. Now we'll move on to respawn points. But first, let me explain to you a little more detail how making objects instantly respawn works. 